Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot on the Pagan Perspective, and this week we're talking about spirits. This week's topic comes from Eric, our very own, who I lovingly refer to as the other Aussie witch, because, well, you know, there's only two. Anyway, a little ongoing joke there. Love it. So, going into this week's topic, thank you, Eric, for adding that one, is I don't have a succinct question, but I... I'd love to hear people talk about patrons, uh, holy guardian angels, tutelary uh, spirits. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. I'm not sure what those are. I've not really dealt or heard of them. So yeah, head spirits and that sort of thing. Do you think they're all the same or do you, or, or are they different things uh, with different rules? Uh, how many, if any, do you acknowledge and work with? Okay, that was excruciating to get through that. My my words are not wording. And so let's go ahead and get on into this. Patrons, matrons, uh, <clears throat> deities that I work with. Yes, I work with those, um, uh, specifically with Christ and Sophia, as I've mentioned in the past. Uh, I go more of the Christo-Pagan route in that sense, more of a Gnostic type of route lately, um, more than anything. So, a little bit of Gnosticism in my practice, but it's very loosely based Gnos Gnosticism. So, uh, that's kind of where I go with my patrons, my patron-matron uh, deities uh, as they are. Holy guardian angels, I don't really deal with guardian angels as much. And maybe it's because I wasn't raised Catholic. Maybe it's because I, uh, as a Protestant upbringing, was more interested in just going to the source of uh, God and Christ and, and whatnot, that I didn't really take a lot of stock in angels. Now, I would like to get into working with angels as uh, the watchtowers, the guardians of, of the directional um, and, and the elemental uh, areas. So yes, I would like to get to work with guardian angels more, just even even if I say just because of that, it's not that's not the only reason, but that's one reason that I would like to work with them more. But it just really hasn't happened yet, and it, it, it's not really something that, in my practice, it's been a major thing that I, I absolutely had to get um, into working with guardian angels. Tutelary uh, spirits, uh, again, I'm not really sure what those are. I may know them by different names, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that for somebody that knows more about those than I do. Uh, and if that that is a different type of spirit that I know it by a different name, then yeah, okay, then I would answer that. But I, I'm not really certain on what that is. Head spirits? Are, do you mean by head spirits? Do you mean uh, like your own personal guardian angels or? Um, or, you know, your personal, like, your team that works with you on your, your life path or your, your, uh, whenever you're putting your life plan together, your life path together, is that the head spirits, the head honchos, as you're referring to here? If so, I really don't do guardian angels that much, and that is something that I would like to work with more but again, just really hasn't happened. It's not really something that I've totally been called to work with or to have in my practice as a central part or a, a um, contributing factor into my practice. I don't think they're all the same. I think that guardian angels uh, do have their place, especially the ones that work with um, you personally rather than like... Um, the archangels or anything like that. I think the archangels have a much uh, higher calling. I and I don't need, I don't want to say that is in 
guardian angels, individual guardian angels, that they don't have a huge purpose. I don't want to sound like that at all, but the archangels, they deal with like a more uh, broad plan and the uh, guardian angels deal with more of a focused plan on individuals rather than on an overarching plan of, you know, the way the world works and whatnot. Uh, so I don't think that they have the same roles, and certainly I don't believe that patron deities, uh, my matron patron, uh, or deities in general, I don't think that they have the same job as angels. That's just my, my world view on it. Um, and, uh, let, so let, let's see here. Things, uh, different things with different roles. Yes, I do believe they are different things with different roles. How many, uh, if any, do you acknowledge and work with? Okay, I think I've answered that one. So, yes, not many angels working in my practice. Um, I have done a few rituals where, you know, you call on the angels, you call on uh, guardians of certain directions, or you call on the archangels within the directions. But it, again, it hasn't really been something that was a huge focus in my practice. Uh, one or two rituals, yes, but I wouldn't say that that is a main focus of my practice overall. Mostly what I deal with is uh, dealing with either earthbound spirits or uh, spirits that are kind of more, more so kind of what is tied to the here and now, what what is tied to earth or tied to an item or tied to an event um, that they are lingering there. They're holding on. These are people that were alive in the past and have died uh, and haven't quite really crossed over entirely. Uh, those are the ones that I work with more. Um, that and I work with uh, DD spirits. Uh, so like I said, Christ and Sophia, I work with them. I don't really include angels that much. If I need a little extra oomph in a spell or whatnot, uh, I may, instead of going to deity and asking deity to help, I may just say, okay, can a guardian angel, you know, if it's a protection spell, guardian angel, uh, Michael, you know, you know, defend us in battle and all that stuff. You know, I, I might call on Michael to come down and, you know, help out with, uh, with, with my working. But again, it's not really something that I do often. It's more so if I need that little extra oomph, that little extra kick to, to a spell. So, yeah. A difficult question to, uh, to assess and difficult question to answer in a coherent way. <laughs> so I hope I answered the question in a somewhat coherent way. Um, I think, yeah, we're on next week. So I will catch you all next week. Uh, as usual, I am apologizing for the lateness of this video. It is going on 930 right now, whenever I'm getting a chance to uh, record this. So hopefully next week I can get this up a little bit sooner. Until next time, may you all have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye.